411. So again, I, we've got our gel press. The gel press is a great tool to allow us to transfer over color and it also allows us to add multiple layers of medias to be able to transfer it over to our car stock. So for example, if you wanted to do gesso, if you wanted to do modeling paste, if you wanted to do acrylic paints, if you wanted to do liquid color, if you wanted to do our fusion inks, if you wanted to do pan pastels, if you wanted to bring in our silks, you can bring them all to life on the gel press and then just kind of lift that color up or that design up. One of the things that I've been teaching on my RG Signature videos is I kind of like to use the acetate sheet that comes with your stamps and I kind of create frames on, all around them based off of regular standard size pieces that I use so if it's a two by two two and a half by three and a half four by four whatever those sizes are I kind of create a little stencil or a template with my with a sharpie and then I place it underneath my gel press so that I can always see that place so for example if I wanted a two by two square that's gonna fit perfectly on my card but I wanna make sure that my designs are right where I need them. I place that, that little template at the bottom, and as I design, I design within that space. So that I'm always gonna make sure that I get exactly what I need for my card design. So this one's perfect. I'm gonna show you a quick, little, easy uh, pattern with watercolor style. So I've got some pretty amethyst liquid color on here. Liquid color is a little bit different um, than our regular ink pads because this is dye based, which means it's water based uh, as opposed to our true color fusion ink pads that are a fusion between pigment and dye. So what I did is I just added several uh, spots of both a pretty amethyst and limeade splash. And what's so great about this limeade splash is that it actually doesn't smell. Don't this. this one doesn't smell. This other one, the pads smell. So what I've done is I've just spritzed some regular water to, you know, the different drops of liquid color and you can grab any of our stencils. Just kind of place that on top what this is going to give me it's going to give me two different patterns one that's going to be oversaturated and then i'm going to come back and grab whatever's left over and then it's going to give me more of the impression of the stencil so kind of demonstrated this the other night uh, i'm going to be using regular cardstock for this so a very light run will suffice because you don't want to wet it too much but again you're going to get more of that watercolor look while still grabbing your stencil while still merging the various different colors of ink together <laughs> nice. um, i'm going to grab a second impression you'll notice that it's going to be uh significantly lighter, lighter than the than the first one you're still going to get some of that watercolor look and feel but you can press a little bit harder too because you're pressing into the gel press. So you're gonna get that very pretty kind of more lighter tone on your impression. Nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do a little bit of acrylic paint. So I'm gonna grab some Blue Lagoon and I'm just gonna get just a little dab of acrylic paint right over my liquid color all that yumminess that's underneath and i'm going to kind of spread that color out throughout my stencil and again it's going to merge a little bit with your liquid color and i'm going to come back i'm just going to grab some of that impression so you can kind of marry those some of those pieces together and just continue to build your layers which is really cool yeah. so we've got a little bit more of that mm -hmm. you're just creating a beautiful artsy background mm -hmm. that's kind of layered together in all of those pieces oh I'm so sorry I forgot about you guys <laughs> Here's my other one, the invisible people. <laughs> so, so super fun. Super easy to create. Potato, you're like knocking on the job here. Um, so easy to recreate. Yeah, not <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of wipe this off. Now, uh, I'm not joking. 
You act like you don't do this before. I, uh, I, I know better to sit next to you. <laughs> All right, super simple to do um, before a potato ruins it. I have a piece of cardstock here. Thank you. I can use that to clean off my stencil. So actually, before I, I'm gonna use it over this one because it's got kind of the similar impression, but I'm just gonna go cattywampus on that. And I'm just gonna clean off my stencil directly onto my piece of cardstock. Gracias. Payaso. Payaso. <laughs> Sorry. So I've got. Don't laugh at him. I'm sorry. Pretty. That was too funny. So I Listen. basically cleaned off the impression oh, wow. from, so you've got a little bit of a lighter tone. What's so great about this, the gel press really allows you to control your water. So I don't have to use watercolor paper to be able to get that watercolor look because I'm spread out just a little bit more and it's only going to pick up what's on that simple surface of the gel press. So you can also, of course, bring in your regular stencil and say, you know what, I'm just gonna place this guy down and I'm gonna merge a little bit of Riverstone with a little bit of Pineapple Smoothie. We don't even have beach ball in acrylic paint. <laughs> <laughs> Would you vote against it? <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just going to kind of bring in these colors and kind of merge them slightly. Super fun. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to grab another impression here, a little bit of the silver or a little bit of the river stone and definitely some of our pineapple. Now, you know, sometimes it depends on where you live. Uh, that depends on how much time you have in between your layers uh, because of course if you live in Arizona you have to act pretty fast because it's pretty dry there mm. so it tends to dry a little <laughs> bit faster and Vegas isn't for real? so look how cool we got the impression mm -hmm. from the gel press and the stencil oh, that's good. together that's nice. Show the camera. oh I forgot about you again guys <laughs> Super fun. See, it looks pretty on your phone. I think you're actually gonna be upside down here, Gina, but that's okay, gracias. I'll stand on my head if I have to. Yeah, I mean like when you post a video, they're gonna have to watch it like this. Oh, you can flip it, right? She can flip it. All right, so I'm just cleaning off my surface. Now, my our gel press friends will recommend that you don't clean off your surface because they love all the various different textures that are kind of continue to build up and build up and build up and build up. They even like the cracked paint look. Mm -hmm. um, for me, it's a little different because I'm more of a card maker. So obviously I want consistency within my projects and that's not gonna give me consistency though. So that's why I continue to clean off my, uh, my surface every single time. So then, ooh, this guy needs to be clean. Oh, this guy needs to be clean. <laughs> Was that grumpy face? <laughs> All right. So while potatoes um rapidly cleaning that stencil, no, no. I'm gonna come back here. I just need a dab of this. I know you need a little bit of both. I call it the sink. I'm gonna bring in. I didn't. I'm gonna bring in a couple of different colors to merge them on my gel press. So uh, the first one I'm gonna bring here is going to be some denim days, which I've been demoing with this one for a little bit. Actually, the, I'm gonna kind of go psycho killer with denim days and just bring it all over the place. So I've got my denim days. I'm gonna kind of smooth out my color just slightly. Now you could come back and add texture to this if you wanted to. So I'll just quickly grab one of these. I have a clear block there. Awesome. That 
was your liquid color you put down, or was that fusion? No, this is um, fusion ink. Fusion ink. Uh, and again, you can come back and just kind of create different textures on your gel press. Now, the, the one thing to note on that, if you make the investment into your gel press, don't use anything with sharp edges or you'll ruin your press. Like but you could use a plastic comb, which really you get all the different kinds on that works well. Well, credit card will work. Credit card will work. Yeah, you can use a credit card. I've actually used some sharp objects, but um, <laughs> but if you're not <laughs> so vicious, look how cool. Oh wow! Oh, so that oh I love that. Love that. Love that. The camera. That's a great water. Oh, what? Show your other oh. audience. Let me see. I love that. Oh, I'm sorry. So just fun texture uh, within your gel press. Here you are, invisible people. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> so fun. So there's so many different things you can do. I'm gonna do just a few more here, just so you can see um, how cool, especially if you're doing an under the sea project, you can really create texture within your ink pads. Now I will tell you, Potato will be the first one to rat me out. I was doing a demonstration on Saturday and um, I tried something and I didn't have my brayer. So I didn't actually have a brayer with me. And I'm like, well, how am I gonna do this technique? So I pretended like I knew what I was doing without my brayer. And it didn't, it definitely wasn't one of my best impressions. Um, and so I pick it up and Potato goes, yeah. <laughs> you know what you said, I wouldn't show that one. <laughs> He's like, don't show that one. I'm like, really, you're just gonna say that? Um, so again, I'm gonna bring in some of this texture just with my clear blocks with my grid side up. Now, you know this is a big no-no, right? This is like what I told you not to do. Yes. Okay, well, I lied. That's because the ink will get up in the lines. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. But and this should look really cool. Brush, so we'll clean up. Hmm? So the <coughs> right, you we'll just flush out. Mm -hmm. Don't leave it in there overnight. <coughs> so it's really cool because you get oh, some of that oh, grid. Yeah. Oh, I like it's really oh, nice. Yeah. That's gonna be my new favorite. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I'm gonna try that one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just really fun. Now, if you just wanted the grid, you can get one of your largest blocks and get the full grid impression, right? So just really fun. You've got so many different options to be able to play here. Oh, I'm sorry, camera people. You probably feel like stepchildren out there. <laughs> But Las Vegas loves you all. Yes. yes. <laughs> Even though I forget about you all the time. Please order. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to clean this guy up and that one. Oh. All right. So I'm going to show you a nice really nice blend technique. Did you clean this one already? Yeah, actually, I did clean it because I knew you were going to do that. Okay, Richard, before you go to the next step, uh, and for the sake of the camera so you can tell people, some are cutting their plates, and there's various reasons for doing it. Yeah, weirdos. Yeah, well, but there are good reasons for it as well. Yeah. Yeah, um, so I know a lot of our coaches out there especially are cutting their jelly plates with an X-Acto knife. Um, I believe to date they still all have all their fingers, but I cannot mm. confirm nor deny that. I don't recommend that you do that um, just because I you really can always use the full surface of your gel press. Now, I understand some of you are actually cutting it because you want to teach a class with it. And so you're, you say, okay, I can get four gel presses out of one gel press. And so then you go cycle killer and you cut it. Um, that will limit the amount of a space that you have to work with. So just keep some of those things in mind. I am reaching out to my gel press little people over there and finding out if in fact they can create a special one for us, especially for those coaches out there that teach classes they currently have one out there uh for class instructors i can't remember but the size they have it. a five by five a six by six five by seven but what you could do where you could corner the market is whatever what's our a2, a2. the a2, a2 side Make yeah I'm, a2. i already have that conversation yeah. going so i was considering doing an a2 but not for sale only available for coaches for classes oh, great yes yeah. Nice. yeah so 
Um, what did I ask you for? The time. Okay. Uh, no, I'm kidding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend a couple of colors together. So now you can blend as many colors as you like. There are no limits. Bless, Bless you. you. Bless you. Yeah. Two. Can you blend the fusion ink with the acrylic? At this point, could you bring an acrylic with that? Yeah, you certainly can. If that's what if that's what you wanted, you can certainly bring in these two colors together and blend them. Now you will get a slight separation in color, and I'll show you that in in a, in a wee bit. But um, let me just show you. I'm gonna brayer these together just to create that blend. Now without me having to do anything else to it, I can come in here and get that beautiful ombre look from my ink pads that I will not be able to get with my uh, brayer because my brayer is going to be more of a harsh impression. So this is going to give me more of a smooth impression. Granted, if there are any blemishes in my gel press, it's gonna pick them up as well, but chances are you will be stamping over this. So you're going to want to create a little bit more of that background, that right? Is, so awesome. you've got some really cool options. You've got your little blending. <laughs> Yeah, he's just Fuji face. Yeah, it's so pretty. And again, you can merge up to three colors together, right? So, as a matter of fact, I have done that. What's so great about that technique is if you wanted to, you can blend your colors, you can bring a stencil, you can bring acrylic paint, blend them all together, and then just lift it, and you're going to get the blend from the background, your layers of acrylic paint, and if you wanted to add a, a layer on top of that, also you could. Can you show us that one? Um, yeah, let me see. I only have that one stencil, but let's make it work. Blending in some of that color, I'm gonna come back with some with my stencil. Let's assume we're gonna use. Let's wipe that off real quick, and I'm gonna bring in pineapple smoothie here. So this is more of my acrylic. Oh my lanta! And I'm just gonna bring in. That color. So again, you decide how much acrylic paint you want. If you want to add a little bit more, if you want it to be very soft. In this case, I'm just going to add a little bit more acrylic paint. Super fun. Before you go to the next step, stand up so you can look down and see what, what oh, you just yeah. pulled up. Can you see it? Yeah. Can you guys see what I'm doing? And I'm just going to grab my impression from my gel press. And feel free to get in there and rub the cardstock in, especially if you've got multiple layers of mediums in here. If you don't like to get your fingers dirty, you can always grab a piece of copy paper, place it over, and really press in. Or you can use your brayer if it was clean. <laughs> the problem with your brayer is that it's going to want to pick up color. Richard, this uh, impression plate, is that the same as the stencil? No, I'm going to show that one next. So again, you're going to get your color in the background, you're going to get your acrylic paint, and you're going to get the merge of both of those, okay? So you're always going to get multiple, depending on which colors you use. Now in this case, I only have um, some of these easy colors. Oh, I'm not going to forget about you people. <laughs> Did I show you this one? I don't remember. Just in case. So, so really fun. Just uh, colors to be able to play with. I've got another one before I go into the iHeart. Yeah, I always use the full sheet because it makes it a lot, a little bit easier to blend your colors. Well, I use the full sheet because then I have four card prints. Yeah. If you design it that way. I always design it that way. 
Yeah. <laughs> that way you're not wasting your paint. So I'm just cleaning. One of the easiest ways to clean your stencil is directly onto yeah. your gel press. Why don't you do that every time? Because <laughs> I like to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but look how cool because you've got the leftover. That's cool too. Oh, look at the back side. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The turn so you the, the back left. is gorgeous. Uh -huh. And then the back of the <laughs> dirty gel press. That's cool. So just fun, different ways to create backgrounds. Awesome. All right, so what I'm gonna jump into here is going to be a stamp reverse, a reverse ghosting technique. Yeah, it's so fun. Can you give me the clear thing in the back? You can also stamp, you can lay out your so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm adding here, sorry shaky people, I'm <laughs> going to add here a little bit of Beach Breeze, then I'm going to come in here with Denim Days kind of right on top, no rhyme or reason to it, and I'm going to kind of create a blend here, I'm not too concerned I just want to get rid of my dark ink pad lines right so I'm kind of merging two different colors together now what I want is I'm gonna grab one of my stamps uh, and I'm gonna grab some clear pigment thank you and I'm just gonna stamp directly onto my gel press So what this is actually going to do, it's going to create a reverse masking technique or a ghosting technique, depending on how you know it. So I'm just kind of stamping in different areas. So it doesn't contaminate back onto the pad? No, nothing really contaminates onto your um, clear pigment ink uh, because chances are you, you're going to wash it out. So if you're actually trying to do a watermark by itself, it's never going to affect the color of your cardstock. Um, the only thing that it might affect is if you're going to be embossing clear. So again, you're going to get that reverse oh, wow. impression from yeah, the nice. technique. So more of a reverse little doily. And again, it depends on the stamps that you're using, right? The various different ones that you have might give you more of a deep impression. Let me show you oh, what I mean by that. Feels bad. I'm sorry. Now. You are loved. Talk about a ghost Oh, we got Chris Rock, everybody. All right, if you wanted to, of course, you can come back and stamp. This video is amazing. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Your different doilies. Oh, my God. a question. Mm -hmm. We're all jumping up and down. Everybody jumping up. I am. About the liquid colors. I love them. And you brought out 12 amazing colors. But we have 52. Yeah. So the question is, do we have something to look forward to in the next catalog period? Um, absolutely. I, I have to share the reason why I did liquid colors. And I'm going to have to share, I'm going to have to have Potato jump in on that story. So, one, two, three, go, Potato. Go ahead. You said I'll jump in. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, so I need to know what you're talking about. Liquid colors. Go ahead. That's because he doesn't know. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're... Half the time, he's just sleeping you on the dump. where you were going with it. Look how pretty! Yes. Mm. So, gorgeous. again, once you stamp, oh, wow. you have the reverse ghosting technique, and then you, I'm coming back. Mama I'm C sorry, pretty. 
Oh, sorry, I'm on. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Pretty. Beautiful. So, here you go, there ghosty you people. To be honest, I wasn't going to buy the gel press, but now I'm convinced. Yeah, I'm convinced now. <laughs> Once you see what it does, and I, I came, well, I had Becky come over and I gave her a one-on-one -on -one lesson, and I came and I, I helped with Mama C as well, just so they had an idea, and they're both pretty excited mm -hmm. about it now. And each of them, well, I went home and ordered it. Yeah. <laughs> well, she already had hers. So fun. Again, so many different fun opportunities. Um, I was going to do one more with a different type of stamp. Uh, you'll see that in just a second here. Will you explain about the other colors? Oh yeah, you were. Go ahead. No, I'm he saying. Go ahead. He you wanted you to you start, start and then he'll yeah, jump in. Yeah. I did. <laughs> okay, I was going to have to get mine. It's not. I did bring one. You got to lead in, and then he'll jump mm -hmm. in. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the question was yes, potato. Uh, we have twelve mm, colors now. This is going to be good. And. Uh, at some point, can we expect new colors, more colors? And he's like, absolutely. And then he's like, I'm going to give you a story behind it. And yes. I'm like, what story? I have no idea what he's asking. The reason why I launched Liquid Colors. Remember that one story? <laughs> There's so <laughs> many. I don't know. No, I don't. So the reason why I launched Liquid Colors. Um, all right. So a lot of my coaches from my S... <laughs> You know, they're kind of, possibly. Um, they, a lot of my coaches were, that come from my other world. Um, did we, did you clean this? I don't know. Rub it on your arm and let's see. <laughs> Check it out. Let me see. Check it out. No. It's all over my hand. Oh my gosh, John, I'll clean. Um, it, so my coaches who come from my other world wanted markers. They're like, um, hello, RG, we need stamping markers because we don't know how to live without them. And I said, but I have so many other coloring tools. Like, really, do you, <laughs> do you need, <laughs> do you need a, um, do you need, do you really need markers when we have so many different options? And they're like, yes, we absolutely do. And I said, you know, I really haven't designed any, do we, I really haven't, I really haven't designed any stamps that require you to use markers um, and they're like well I said I, I obviously I did that for a reason because I don't have markers yet the reason why I don't have markers yet is because when we launched when I launched the FSJ ink pad which is a fusion between a pigment and an ink it didn't allow me to create a marker for it because the ink is too thick it is dye based. So it doesn't go through a felt tip or it doesn't go through my marker nib because it stays, it stays stuck. Wherever you place the ink, it just does not move, which is one of the reasons why you don't have to store our ink pads upside down because the ink doesn't move. It stays on the top of your felt. You don't have to. You don't have to. Oh. You're one of those. <laughs> yes, she is. Um, so, so you don't have to store our ink pads upside down because of that. And again, which is my complication with why I couldn't launch a marker because I couldn't get the ink pad to flow in a true color fusion ink pad. So I decided that one of the best things for me to do is to launch dye in all of our colors so that if in fact they adapted well and it was perfect, um, launch with my gel press. So I've got the ghosting on the... From the one stamp so again depending on the pieces that you're using you have the opportunity to create oh. ghosting if you wanted to stamp this multiple time you can go throughout your entire background and create that ghosting technique for all of your stamps depending on correct correct and again you can use it as that background layer uh, but also really pretty I actually did this technique with the peacock did you guys yes. see it? Yes. So because it creates a reverse image, so now you've got the bloom going one way and you've got the bloom going the opposite way. So what is exactly does that mean? Let me show you. Um, so anyway, I felt that it was a perfect time for me to launch the liquid color because of the gel press. But also once I launch all of my colors in, in liquid color, then I can launch markers next. Does that make sense? Ooh, yeah. They would be water-based, yeah. 
I let's talk a little bit about alcohol markers too, um, because it's like a thing. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I use them. I admit. You're one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am one of those midnight color adult color. Um, I call those X-rated ones. Now we know you. Oh, Too much group sharing. <laughs> so again, if you blend in, you're ghosting with your actual impression. You create a beautiful background. But I'm sorry, people. <laughs> I was actually waving for Mama C to see it. Oh, sorry, Mama. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's fine. It's hot. Yeah. You should know. So again, you can kind of see, and then you can actually just add your sentiment on here um, and pretty much be ready to go, mm -hmm. you know? That one's really pretty. Her that is, is very what? nice. What? Like Potato liked it. You don't like it either? That you're, one you don't you're, like? No, he's, he That's said, really he's, he, he's doing his demo, and he's just got this one thing, he says, thanks. Like, so if you get, you know, I'm like, that's a really nice, like somebody does something, but thanks. Like, thanks for what? Like, it's just... Thanks. <laughs> what? I would, I would want a bigger sentiment on that than thanks. He's a grateful person. With sympathy. Yeah. For thinking of you. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to cover up my pretty back. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're probably one of those weird people that want to write in my scrapbook pages, too. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> he does. Yeah. He's thanks. one of those. He's one of those. Thanks. <laughs> all right. So you've got all these really fun backgrounds that we've kind of just created here. Um, you know, kind of pretty much in no time, right? Using the same type of inks and the same colors that we have. I'll kind of pass them around. Um, obviously, Mama, if you want to keep all those, you can. Um, but I'm going to swap over. Thanks. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can also do um, the shaving cream technique on it with what, with you, the gel press. You gotta tell us about that. You don't know that? No. She it's, was gonna do shaving cream the other night. Yeah, he forgot. Oh, I totally he forgot. forgot. Yeah. He for, just like he's been forgetting to show them. But that's know? not a real shaving cream. The one I was gonna teach you was a faux yeah, shaving cream technique. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I totally forgot. You're right. I think it's because I'm finally catching up to Potato's age. Because <laughs> you forget things all the time. Isn't faux and fake the same thing? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he faux got. Shaving cream is He does that a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, I can show you how to do that. Have oh, you guys good. seen how to do the faux shaving cream technique? No. Have you seen the shaving cream yes. technique yeah, period? No. Yes. yes. Um, so the faux shaving cream technique, I don't know that I have the right stamps for it, but I'm going to try it with this one because it's the most solid stamp that I have. So can you grab me another one in this set, please? Small it? one, please. Where? It would be in the skinny, skinny, tiny little one right in here. In this? In here. Okay. All right. So I'll show you that, hopefully. Never tried it with this damn set, so don't give me potato face. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me try this guy. Um, the what? No, I'm just looking. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Don't, don't lose it. All right, I'm gonna grab just this other stamp just to see if it'll actually do the thing. But I'm gonna just ink up my stamp. If you wanted to create a faux shaving cream technique. You basically ink up your stamp in any color you want, and typically you're going to merge it with another stamp to create that look. Now, um, in this case, I'm just gonna grab another stamp, and I'm just kinda oh. gonna go in here and create what would look like if I was using shaving cream. You <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So you get the shaving cream technique. Oh, wow. Wow. I didn't know if that was going to work, but it did. That's really pretty. Oh, that looks <laughs> That's great. Awesome. So again, you don't need all the mess of the shaving cream, although it does smell like a man in your house, but... So, okay. <laughs> Slow learner. Slow. You, you, <laughs> you oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep I don't want to switch it for you because then it'll be upside down if she fixes it, but then you got your faux shaving cream technique. 
Okay, so you ain't put on it one more time. Do it one more time. Please. Okay. Yes. So, what we're going to do here. Was it necessary to use another stamp? Is it, could you have used a uh, yes. credit card or anything? End of a paintbrush. You and, want it to be rubber. Okay. Because oh. if, it, if you don't use rubber, it's going to move your color. Oh. It's going to like move it off right. versus just move it around. Okay. okay. And ideally, you want it to be a silhouette stamp because then it's, it's going to show the most. That's cool. Okay, ready? Is that similar to what we did with cupcakes? It's similar to what we did with cupcakes. It's, yeah. It is similar to what we did with cupcakes. Because with cupcakes, I showed you two different techniques. One is the shaving cream technique, but in our case, it was really in the shape of a swirl because we wanted it to look like more dimension, right? We wanted it to look like that cupcake frosting was dimensional. Yeah. So it wasn't intended for the shaving cream look, it was intended for dimension on your cupcake swirl. I also showed you how to merge two different colors into your swirl. So basically I did this technique, but this one had color prior to me bringing it in. So it kind of brings in those other two colors and then just makes them look yummy and delicious. Yeah. It was, that was fun. So th in this case, we're really just moving color around. Now, if I wanted to, I can go from light to dark. So I can do a light blue, bring in the dark color and blend it in. So it's gonna give me now the merge of both colors. Um, but of course, in this case, I'm just, so I've inked it up. And now just with the tip of my rubber, I'm just gonna come in here and create that swirl. Yeah, it's the easy I shaving cream technique. Else. What's How did so they get great? The name shaving cream. Well, because it was originally done with shaving cream. Oh, it was. Yeah. Do you have some shaving cream on there? They haven't seen it. No, I didn't. I say, ooh, what did you say? Not know. I've shaved lately. She used to know like cheddar. Well, you guys really get me in trouble. All right, so any questions on that guy? No, that's, no, that's, that's gorgeous. gorgeous. Did you, let's go through that one side. Which is it? I actually love this guy. Not well knows. Yeah. And you can put this back as well. On it, on this one? No, maybe on it. This one goes into this one. And this one goes into the other. Fine, right? Can I switch it, Mama, for the Diet Coke? Because I potato will make fun of me because I'm fat. Yeah, that ain't have a fruity. I think a little bit of carbonation, no calories. I didn't. No, they didn't come to you at all. I did. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't know you guys already had. Okay, I didn't know you guys. You want potato in it? I'm in it. Yeah. You want potato in it? Do you want him? You want him in it? You guys smile. Because the, like she can smile. say, say no, no. I got the thing in there. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. This is this one is uh, impressibility, and it's the only one that I have right now. I have designed five of them, uh, but it's almost like a really large size, oversized stamp in a gel. Okay, in this um, stuff. In that stuff, yeah. It actually is really cool because it, again, I can blend in some of these colors together directly on to my my background here. Yeah. Now, I thought that was something you used on your gel. Pen. No, you you can use it on its own, or you can use it on your gel press. Depends on what you want. So, for example, if I do a thin layer of modeling paste and I want the hard impressions on there, I can certainly grab them. So, 
Super simple. Oh, yeah. I've got all oh, your hearts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very beautiful. That's too good. I love yeah, that. I love that. Easy peasy, cheesy breezy. Mm. <laughs> I only have one now, but I have three more that are designed. So I originally designed four, but I just kind of wanted to see what my coaches thought first before I release them all. I think you need to demo this more. Um, in, in your mind. Yeah, I it it probably will not launch until summer. Okay. The new ones, okay. yeah, because these these are still so new, and my coaches are still kind of playing with it a little bit and seeing if they kind of love it. the The problem that I have is that a lot of my coaches see hearts and they only think Valentine's, right? Oh, like they don't step away from that. So the other day I did a card for for uh, for fall with this gel press, and we started moving them. You know, people started buying them more because of that. So it's really just about how you demo it and yeah. what people like kind of like camera. to get into. Oh, hello camera people. <laughs> You're gonna miss out. I don't know why I keep forgetting about you because this is usually what I do. <laughs> but I don't usually have a live audience. And it's been every single card. <laughs> 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 Okay. All right, so my next one like here is I'm going to show you a little bit yeah, of a, like. a fusion. I'm going to just kind of kind of go in hearts here a little bit. And it's kind of just kind of splishy splashy. But I'm going to bring in some. I've got one open right here. Uh, sparkle silk and cool pool, please. Wasn't the silver over here, too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the silver's right there behind your coat. Gracias. I'm going to bring in some sparkle silk and I'm just going to bring them. Now, what do you know, what's the difference between our True Color Fusion inks and our sparkle silk? One sparkles. <laughs> in regards to the media, in regards, correct. It's uh, our silks are water-based. Mm -hmm. And our ink pads are a fusion between pigment and dye. So, because they're a fusion between pigment and dye, they have a tend they they're a little bit on the oil base, right? There's a little bit of an oily element to our ink pads because they so that way we can merge both the ink pad, the dye, and the pigment together. Is that going to dry before you have a chance to do anything with it? Um, I'm sure hoping not. That's but I am in. Where am I? Las Vegas, yeah. Um, all right, so what I want to do here is I'm going to bring in a little bit of spritzer water. And what's going to happen is there's going to be automatic separation between my ink pad and my water because one is oil and one is water. So you're going to want to start to like, oh, we're not really friends. Um, so what I should be getting here is a little bit of that separation. Should be getting a little bit of that separation. You don't belong in our club. <laughs> so here you've got a little bit of that watercolor look, a little bit of that separation, and all of the fun little elements of the sparkle silk. So, so super cool. So you've got both your silk and you've got your True Color Fusion ink pads with a little bit of the cool pool, and you can come back and continue to add layers upon layers to layers. Of course, you're not gonna see the sparkle silk until you see it up close. Um, but this gives you the opportunity to merge them where you couldn't merge them outside of your gel press. I, did I show it to my TV before? You showed it first. Yeah. Oh yeah, see? You went right to good. Try it. All right, so, so the cards going around. Hold it right here. Card hoggers. So just different, simple. I'm gonna I'll show you a basic acrylic. The other colors in 
liquid colors. So I have a few new ones coming out in the bloom this way. And they will be part of RG Presents, yeah. <laughs> We're already making our plans. Our groups have grown so large that we have to split up this time. Now that potato's gone, I'm out. Uh, now that I'm not Now that Dan's gone, I've asked potato if he slip. would. <laughs> I've asked potato if he would um, be my my guy. guy. Like you're gonna be, you're gonna be Gary. This is the tattoo thing though. Oh, look at look how pretty. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh, love it, love it. Love Enough it. about you, potato. That's <laughs> 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 So yeah, just the fun cool. hearts. Now that was What colors? So I mean, what did you yeah. use that time? I don't remember, but you can watch the video. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. Look at you! Wow. I did it. Ow! <laughs> Paying attention, you know what? No, you scare me sometimes. <laughs> good. And I think you're sleeping half the time. I am. I just got good at keeping my eyes open. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was cool. Oh, 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 I get it. That is oh, really cool. Oh, you did? Oh, I can read this on your... He doesn't know what he oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, get Forget about it. Forget about it. Yeah, you just so give me the prayer. Dudes. <laughs> now, now. Oh, jeez. Let's get along, guys. Ooh, I don't like that color. Ooh, really? Why? Oh, 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 I do. Love it. it looks like very baby poop. No. Oh, <laughs> You must be related to Dustin. Everyone's a critic, I tell you. I like the color. The baby, because this could easily be a masculine card. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Because you're not going to give to most men pink hearts, but I would give that. No yeah, thanks on there, you're good. Man, no thanks. <laughs> thanks. Okay, and that brings up, speaking of thanks, Richard. Yes. We have a beautiful catalog full of beautiful things. Do you know how many best wishes we have? Best wishes? Mm -hmm. Three. Best wishes we have three? No. Well, think again. Mm -hmm. Um, best wishes. Does anyone else know? I mean, I. Mm -hmm. I think I want to know why we're counting how many best wishes we got. Well, okay, that I'll would be my why. question. I because I, <laughs> I was I was I'm in an exchange group and my theme is best wishes. I said, oh, I'll take it, no problem. One, Richard. Oh, one. One. Which so one? That stamp set you just used with the flowers. Uh, no, it's no, the other one. one. It's the other one that we. So used. that would mean we got two. No. no. <laughs> Is that best this one has best, best wishes. I think you're. Th I think you're thinking them. just because. Just because. Because I only have one just because. I meant just because. Yeah. Okay. I only have one just because. And we only have two. But I have several best wishes. <laughs> but I'm just, it was just because, and I said, oh, I'll take it, and I'm thinking all the fun things I can do, and I went through it, and I've got two humongous drawers full of my FSJ stamps. You know, oh, oh, oh. Like, I went through everything and I'm like, that's it? Yeah, that's it. I only did one. No, one's not enough. I only did one because I thought, you know what? I'm, I'd am i be lucky if I get my people to send out a birthday card, let alone a just because <laughs> card. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Isn't that true? Potato, how many cards have you sent? That have I sent? I've made it's you not a trick question. I've made you one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I saw that one. That was nice. At least he put a thank you stamp in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Because I think there was only. He didn't, he didn't have any. Oh, I have a question. Are, are we allowed to go to the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Go ahead, yeah, you it's funny. Yeah. Definitely don't want to have a Dustin's accident. How come there's not more uh, dogs and cats in this? Well, because I'm allergic to them. Oh, you are not. Oh, 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 o
was one of the best stamps ever. I know. I it's so Thank you so much for charity. Yeah. For yeah. Rescue. And a lot of people I'm do. tired of using the same board. You know what? Company stamps over and over again. I'm totally going to be 100% psycho killer honest with you all. <laughs> so you have no idea. No, you got. You think you know, but you have no idea. So when I go through my catalogs and figure out what everybody else has versus what we don't have, what we should have, blah blah blah, and then I go down the list of requests mm -hmm. from my coaches, and some of my coaches are a little loony bin. <laughs> I mean, we had a lady, we had a lady, talk our ear off for over an hour. Oh. Yeah. On the yeah. fact that we needed to launch a guinea pig stamp. Oh my! Wow. And she's here tonight. <laughs> I'm not gonna mention any names. <laughs> but, but she totally wanted a guinea pig stamp, and I said, you know, I'm sure there's guinea. Nobody has guinea. I'm sure there's. She showed. We showed her. I'm like, we easily found some guinea pig stamp, right? And she's like, no, but their ears are wrong. <laughs> She said, I want to know why you stood there. I want to know why you're looking at me when you're standing <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to call you out, but. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she actually got like sketched out. <laughs> so, anyway, she sketched it out for me and said wow. the ears have to go like this. <laughs> So yeah, she totally we can shut up your video now. Bye guys. Yeah. Actually turn it up, let them see you. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna break Fist. it. Just put your hand in there. Oh. oh. Thank you.